Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today is the Cable Your Love Blanket. This is consisting of one center panel and two side panels. The side panels are both identical to each other. So you just make one center and then two sides. We're gonna be starting off with the center pa panel. This is an experience or an advanced level um, crochet project. One of the highest levels here. I've also done a crochet diagram that you can download on the Crochet Crowd under this particular uh, blanket uh, pattern if you wish. And it's recommending a six millimeter size uh, J crochet hook and uh, it's also recommending red heart soft baby steps in order to do that. So what we're going to do is that we're gonna start off with the front, uh, sorry with the center panel. Once you get your panels done you're going to whip stitch them together. Now because this is an experience level whip stitching is something that's probably uh, we do have videos on how to, wh to whip stitch it and then we'll also cover the border today. So let me take you to the first uh, diagram that I have that you can download if you wish and it just helps me to be able to explain it a little bit easier. So we have a downloadable that's available to you through the Crochet Crowd and this is my hand drawn diagram on how this is going to work out. So the rows exist from one all the way to eleven and then once you get that done then what's gonna happen is that you're gonna repeat number four through eleven. So you just start here on the wrong side of single crochets and go back to eleven. And what this is going to do if you follow the line it's just meandering. So and actually this part of the tutorial here I've already kind of done a little sample. So you can kind of see how the line comes up and it's over top of this one and then it comes down and then it's underneath. So you can see that each one of these sections are working independently of each other. So they're not crossing all over everything but just kind of staying up as a band just like you see. So it does have the multiples of six plus five. So if you'd like to change the size to make it a different size and a different size panel for the baby blanket then that's completely optional for you. So let's get started. So let's begin the center panel. So you'll just create a slip knot and you'll chain a total of thirty-five. So thirty-five to go. So just uh, wrap the hook and pull through. So one, two, three, four, five and just go all the way to thirty-five for me. Meet me back here in just a moment. Once you have your 35 on here go second chain from the hook. So just one and two. Turn it over get the back hump of the chain and simply just single crochet yourself all the way back across your chain. So if you've done the multiples of different uh, multiples to make it wider just again just single crochet all the way back across your chain. Now that I've gone all the way across my chain I'm gonna turn. Let's begin row number two. So row number two we're gonna start creating gapping spaces in order to make it work. So the very end of this side and this side is the only thing that's different. So we're gonna begin and let's uh, just pay attention here. So we're just gonna chain one and because it's an end the first three are gonna be a single crochet. So one, two and three. That's it. Then you're going to chain one, skip one and single crochet in the next two. And that's your repeat going all the way across except for the very last few stitches. So once you get your two in there chain one, skip one single crochet in the next two. And I want you to do that all the way across. So chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next two. I'll see you at the end of this row and just wait for me there. So I'm coming up to the end. I'm keeping my count. So I just did two, chain one, skip one. And because it's the end when I jump over and skip the one there's going to be three stitches left and you're gonna just fill in all three. So the last three stitches are single crochet. So now you're gonna turn and let's begin row number Four, uh, row number three. And so row number three we're gonna start dropping down in that stitch. So row number three will never be repeated again. So it's just a one time to get yourself set up. So it's like a foundation set up kind of idea. So let's begin. We're gonna chain up one and we're gonna do four single crochets in a row starting with the first one. So let's count those. So one, two, three and go right into the space itself. I know it feels wrong in every level. But now what I want you to do is that I want you to double crochet into this single crochet that's been skipped. So just go in and just access it. Stay on the front side like it's a mosaic crochet because that's kind of the concept. And just access that stitch from the front side and stay on the front and just do it as a double crochet. And so you'll see that popping off your work. You're going to then come to the other chain one space that you've skipped over here. And then you're going to do a uh, front or do a, a double crochet down there too. So just stay on the front side. So those two double crochets just stayed on the front and they also stayed leaning together. 
So those count as the two double crochets that it's blocking in front of or that's blocking behind. So just count it. So one, two is counting as these two and so the third one is where you're gonna start and the next starting in that one um, there should be a total of four stitches going across. So we let's count those. So one, two, three and the fourth is to chain one space. Just like that. So now let's continue again. So we're gonna go into this one straight on down. So just wrap the hook and straight in. It's awkward the first time. I'm not gonna deny that for you. And then you're just gonna come to the next chain one space and double crochet there. So those two just counted as a stitch. So if you turn it over, one and two is what it's in front of or what's behind and you're just gonna start with the next one. Okay, so the next one you can see that it's a, a space there. If you didn't see it over here, um, that's what that is. So there's four in a row and then you're gonna drop down again. So you got one and then you're gonna reach over to the next chain one and this is all you're doing all the way across. So lean it forward, so one, two and start in the next one. So there's four in a row and then drop down again and you're doing all this way across. So do all this across uh, at this moment and then I'll see you back here in just a moment. So I'm now coming to the other side here and I'm just continuing along with the pattern. Lean it forward one, two and do the last four on this side and then that's it. So you will see that it's jumping off. So the wonderful thing about this pattern is that every other row that we're about to do, every wrong side, so when it's looking at the back and you cannot see that texture, it is simply just a straight single crochet across. So chain up one and do one single here. So every time we're turning to the back, that's all we're gonna do and so I can speed up this tutorial because I can just say turn to the back and just single crochet across. So all the fancy work gets done in the front so you can physically see it because then you don't have to do anything in behind and hopefully that when you turn it, it's actually working. So do this all the way across. So let's begin row number five. So this time we have to um, have these stitches here gonna be changing locations so it's gonna create a crisscross. So let's begin. We're gonna chain up one and we're gonna do the first three as single crochet. So one, two, and three. And this time you will notice that in the sheet I provided to you it was red so it's a treble front post. So you just gotta be paying attention to that. And the first one is gonna be into this one here that's leaning this direction. And so wrap the hook twice and go in the front post of that stitch and just do it as a treble. Okay, so that'll pick it up just like that and then you are going to then lean it over. So that stitch is this stitch here. So the next two stitches in a row are gonna be single crochet and then you're going to then go back into this one here by accessing it over top of the front. So just wrap twice and it's a front post treble into this one and just pick it up and pull through two and two all the way to the top. So you can see it just formed an X shape. So that counts as that one that it's in front of and then you were just going to single crochet the next two. So the single crochets are just twos in pairs of twos. So once you get that two you're gonna then jump to this one over here. So wrap and go in the front post treble for that. So that counts as that one in behind so just single crochet the next two and then wrap twice and then come back and get that one and that counts as that one that it's in front of. So then just do the next two. So I'll quiet up and show you one more time. Okay. 
and then please do this all the way across. So you can really kind of see it's taking effect. So I'm coming up to the very end. I'm just finishing this last crossover on this side. So this is the front side of the work. This is where all the fancy fancy stuff goes and in the last three stitches they're just regular single crochet. So that means that we're turning to the back side of this. So that means that we're just gonna turn and apply one single crochet. So chain up one and do one single crochet and this is row number six. I'll see you at the end of this row. So let's begin row number seven. So this time the line is gonna follow a slightly different path. So this line is gonna carry out and go out this way and this line is gonna carry out and go this way and these two here are going to meet. It's very similar to what you did here but it's gonna happen here instead. So let's begin seven. So chain up one and do one single crochet in the first two. You're then going to reach down to this one here and just do a double crochet front post to that to carry that line through. So it keeps it growing out and then when you look at the pattern the next four stitches so remember that's the one that it's in front of so don't count that one. So the next four. So one, two, three and four and then the next one is gonna pick up this one here. So just come down and then directly beside this one is gonna pick up the next one here. So we didn't do that here because we're just starting. So we're, we pick up this one and we do that. So there is the two double crochets in a row. So those count as those two and it will be the next four that's by itself. So one, two, three and four. So do you remember what to do? So just double crochet into this one here. Cat, uh, pick it up and then pick up this one here. And those count as your two double crochets that it's in front of. So one, two and then get the next four. So you're gonna do this all the way across. You can really start to seeing it turning out. It's wonderful. And do this and I'll see you at the end of this row. So when you come up all the way to the end I've just done this one here and that counts as this one. So there's only two singles in a row. This is row number seven. You can see it really is taking effect now. Turn it around and chain one, one single in each going all the way across. So let's begin number nine. So these two are now going to start and heading back in towards the diamond shape and these two will obviously be heading in that direction as well. So you're gonna be having like this. Let's begin number nine. You're gonna chain up one and do one single crochet in the first three. So one, two and three and all you're just gonna do now is to do a A front post, a front post treble around this one here. So wrap it twice like that. That counts as the one that's in front of it and then double a uh, single crochet the next two and then reach over to this one and do a treble. It counts as that first one and then you were going to then apply um, two single crochets in a row and then keep on doing the same thing going across. So just wrap the hook, come into the first one and then the next two double, uh, singles and then do this one. And you're gonna do that all the way across. So I'm just coming into the last one way over here and then finally the last three are single crochets. So you see it's a lattice work that just takes its time. It's kind of meandering. So let's uh, turn our work, do row number 10 and it's just one single crochet in each and then we'll meet you back here in just a moment. Came all the way back and now we're going to begin row number 11. So you're gonna chain up one and you'll do one single crochet in the first four. So one, two, three and four and then it's a front post double into this one here. and then you immediately come to the next one and do a front post double. So those count as those two and then you're going to single crochet the next four in a row. So one, two, three and four. So we'll do that again. So just coming down front post double and then capture the next one and then the next four. 
So it's really sealing off that. So you can see it's kind of like coming in and up and over and then when we start doing the repeat of this, so rounds number uh, four through um, eleven, you'll see the repeating of this starting to take effect where you'll start seeing the cabling work jumping over top of each other. So do this all the way across and then I'll see you at the end of this row. When you get all the way to the end of the row, the last four are going to be single crochet. And so then that concludes the repeat of this pattern. So in order to restart again, you're just gonna turn your work and do row number four again and that's just a single crochet. So do that and then I would just review with you row number five one more time and that does the official crisscross over which I'll cover in just a second. So let's review number five. So number five is that crisscross fun stuff. So you're gonna chain up one and do one single crochet in the first three. So this is part of the repeat I'm just demonstrating. And so this time you wanna take this one way over here. Remember when we did that down here? And it's a front post um, treble that we're going to do that. Reach over to this one that's leaning and do that one. And then you were going to then apply two single, uh, just skip the one and then two single crochets in a row. The skipping of the one is the one that it's sitting in front of. And then you're gonna just treble the other one. So it's what you already know at this point in the tutorial. So then it counts as that one. So you're just gonna single crochet the next two. So everything's in back in sets of two. So you can see this came up and then it went under here and then this one was underneath and then it came up and switched spots. So you're just gonna keep doing this panel over and over and over until you get to the size that you want to. Um, the pattern states that it's about 32 inches uh, from the base here and then you're just gonna do this. This is just the middle of the afghan and then you're just gonna whip stitch the sides together in order to form the, the whole afghan. So please do this uh, and then I will move on next to the side panel which is a little bit more complicated. So we're now gonna get started on the second part which is here. It's kinda harder to see. There is another photo available through the pattern itself to be able to see more of a down view but because of the coloring uh, being so gray, it's kinda hard to see the stitch work. So now we're gonna work on the side panels. You ne need to make two of them. It's a little more complex but once you understand the pattern, it's easy and the number of rows of repeat is not as significant as what we just did. So let's uh, take a look at the diagram that will be available for download as well. So this diagram took me about an hour to two hours to be able to make and I was really confused on the center part. It's not because the pattern screwed up, it's because my mind was. As an experienced crocheter when I see something that doesn't make sense, I don't always have faith in the designer that they know what they're talking about and so then I start self-doubting and that I don't get it done. So today we're going to start with this one here. It is gonna be chaining of 39 to begin. Now because the, these two sections here are different from the middle, there's no such thing as a repeat for this unless you're gonna repeat this whole thing over and over and over again. So that's something that you can figure out on your own. So I'll leave that to your best judgment. So what we're going to do then is that in the very beginning on row number two, we're gonna be leaving some whole spaces where we're gonna start dropping down some stitches and then once you get this established, it's gonna be repeating this number four through seven. So, um, so four through seven and then you'll see it all working up. What you wanna pay attention to the most is where it's uh, right here in the center. This is kind of uh, a little bit interesting. Also here, um, I put an F and a B and you'll see an F and a B and when you do that what happens is it makes the, um, the cables work together in that sense and you'll see that happening on the sample as well. So let's uh, begin to pay attention to this and let's begin and we're gonna start off with our chain with our six millimeter size J crochet. So let's begin and we need to chain 39 to begin. 39 is the magic number for this particular one and one two, three, four, five, go all the way to 39 and meet me back here in just a moment. Once you have your 39 chain, go second chain from the hook. So count it back and turn it over and get the back hump and single crochet all the way across. So because you went second chain from the hook, the 39 uh, chains just becomes 38 stitches and that's what's written on the diagram if you've noticed 38 stitches. So single crochet across the chain all the way back to the beginning and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So we're gonna turn our work and begin row number two. Row number two we're gonna take our time because we have two pa uh, pieces on the side. We have a unique center and then this, it's a mirror on this side. So let's just get ourselves all the way across to create the spaces that we need in order to help us align our stitches properly in the future. You're gonna chain up one and single crochet in the first two. So one and two 
and then I need you to chain four. So one, two, three, four, and skip four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next one, and then do the same thing once again. So chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip four. One, two, three, four, and single crochet in the next. I need you now to chain two. One, two, skipping two. And then single crochet into the next. And you're gonna um, do the next three. So do that one plus two more. And now you're gonna chain four again. So one, two, three, four, skipping four. One, two, three, four. We're just passing the halfway point across. Single crochet into that one plus two more. So if you look at it, this middle chain four is the center. And you basically have three singles on one side, three on the other. Let's finish up the side. So we're gonna chain four, sorry, chain two, one, two, and then skip two, single crochet in the next. So what's happening on this side happens on the other side at this moment. So chain four, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, skip, and then chain four, so one, two, three, four, skip four, one, two, three, four, come into the next one and then single crochet in the one right after that. And that should bring you balance. So when you lay it down, you should be able to see all of the different gapping spaces. So you see one, two, those are the fours. This is a two, this is a four right in the center and then a two and then a four and a four. Turn your so now what we're gonna do is turn our work and begin row number three. So row number three, this is gonna be the right side of the project now. We're gonna establish that in this one and let's take our time to do it. We wanna pay attention to the front and the back when we're going to do the crossovers and then watch that one right in the center. Let's chain up one and we're gonna single crochet in the first two. So one and two and then we're gonna begin a crossover. So this chain, just leave it toward the back side and skip the first two that are here, one, two, and go to the third and just do a double crochet into the third one. And then do a double crochet to the next one. And now it says F, so that means front. So the two that you just skipped, the next two that you're about to put, uh, will put in there will be in the front of this. So wrap the hook and stay on the front side and just going into the first one that you skipped. It's a little awkward to access but you know it's cable work. And so you're gonna do the next two like there that you skipped. Stay on the front side of the work. So those two just passed over the other two that were sitting there. And then you're gonna single crochet in the next single crochet that is on the same line. You see that? So we're gonna do that again. But this time when we go to cross over, we gotta watch the second half of it. So wrap the hook and skip the first two that are here and go to the third. And then do the one right next door. And then you're gonna cross over back. If you're not comfortable with doing the front or the back side, just be consistent. You know, you are the are a creator of your own rules. But it's telling you to go in the back side. So these two that you skipped, this time when you go to wrap the hook, you gotta stay on the back of it and then pick it up. And it's really awkward at first to get used to. And you're just gonna turn it in a way that you can see it. And you're gonna do those two. And there is a reason why they're having you do that. So if you look at it, these two look like they're leaning toward each other and when it gets more and more, you'll see the, how those work together. You're going to single crochet in the next single crochet and now the chain two, nice and simple, this one is gonna be following all the way up and those ones here are gonna be just a double crochet in the straight down into those. Keep that chain two on the back side out of the way and you'll see that popping out more in the future. So now the next three are going to be single crochets. So one, two, and three. And now let's play then with this next grouping of four. This is directly in the center. The first one is gonna be straight down as a double crochet. You're going to skip the next one and then come over here and you're gonna do a treble. So wrap the hook twice and go into that one. 
and this is also gonna be a front side on this one. So you're now gonna come into the one you just skipped and treble in that one. And then finally the fourth one is just straight down double crochet. So you have two that are straight down and the ones in the middle just crossed over. So the next three are single crochet. So one, two and three. And now these as chain two so you're just gonna drop on down. Getting started is always the tricky part. And then you're gonna single crochet. And then you're gonna do the last crossing over just like you did over here. So let's uh, do the first one. So you're gonna skip over the two, go to the third and do a crossover. So a double crochet over and then do its friend next door. And this one says from the front side. So accessing the first one that you skipped up from the front. And then do its neighbor. You're gonna single crochet the next one and then you're gonna do that again. So skipping the first two go to the third and then this time it's a back. So you're just gonna access it from the back side. So the two that are here just come in from the back. I'm a kind of lazy crocheter. I wouldn't necessarily do it like this if it was on my own and I wasn't gonna tell you that. Um, but it does create a different look so don't be discouraged by that. So then you're just gonna single crochet in the final two and that was row number three. Right there. So you don't really see a lot of it turning out yet. It will happen. So row number four you're gonna turn, uh, turn your work and just do one single crochet in each. This is the start of the repeat pattern. So please do this all the way across and then maybe back here in just a moment. So let's begin row number five. So you really can't see a lot of the texture yet but it will appear really soon. So we're going to start off in chain one and do one single crochet in the first two. So one and two. Now the crossing over here what we're gonna do is come straight down. So the ones that are in here are buried in behind here. So you just gotta make sure you pick it up. So you just have to move stuff out of the way if you have to. So straight down is a front post double pick up the one double crochet. So I'm picking up the one and then go and pick up the next one. It's right beside it. It's a little bit behind the work so just kind of use your hook and pull it out. This is what creates those beautiful cables. So those two just came straight down and now these two here there's gonna be straight down one into each of those as well. So these ones are nice and easy to remember. And then you're gonna single crochet the next single crochet. So you're gonna do this again. So this one it's leaning in a different direction. So you're just gonna grab the first two and do a front post double down. And then the other two are buried in behind. So just peel it back with your finger. Just push it and pull it up. And you're doing the other two. And then you're going to then um, carry on and you're going to single crochet the next one. Now here these are front post doubles or front post uh, that came down. You're gonna treat those as front post doubles. That line is always gonna be consistent all the way through. So you'll see that appear more and more as we're working our way through. Now to do the crossing over in the center you're going to single crochet the next and then watch what we do in order to make this work. We are going to reach over and we're just going to do a double crochet over. So just double crochet into this first one. See the grouping of four? You're gonna come into the first one. It feels like a long way away but it works out. So you're just gonna double crochet into that one and then you're going to double crochet in the next one here which is right here. It's in behind. So you're just double crocheting and just pull it up and pick it out and then get that. So those two just went off on its own in this direction. 
So those count as the first two that it's in front of here. One, two. And you're going to single crochet the next four. So one, two, three, and four. So now you're gonna continue along. So this one that's leaning here, you are just going to do a double crochet in the front post. And then you're gonna do a double crochet in the front post of the next one. Like that. And so that counts as two of those. So one, two, go to the third as a single crochet. And then the next one here is dropping down in front. And so you'll do two of those in a row. This line is also consistent on the other side right here. So now let's carry on and you're gonna single crochet into the next one. And then you're coming down into this grouping here. So just straight on down this one here somewhat buried. So just pull it out and do a front post double. And then get the other two that are part of that. You're gonna single crochet in the next and then do the same here in this last section. So straight on down. And then get this one somewhat buried so just pull it so you can see the first one. And those four are done. And then you're gonna single crochet in the last two. Okay. So that's what it looks like so far. So turning your work you're going to do row number six and you're just gonna do one single crochet in each. So do this and I'll see you back here in just a moment. Okay I've now just started uh, here row number seven. So chain up one and I'm going to take you through repeating a four through seven one more time after this. I think it's justified for this particular one. So let's single crochet in the first two. So one and two and guess what we're doing again. We're doing a crossover. So we're gonna go to the third one here and we're just gonna come in and we're just gonna do a double crochet and then the next one right beside it. And staying on the front side we're gonna pick up these two here. So a front post double. Of those two. And remember that what separates those two is just uh, a single crochet. So you can either count back or you can look at it and determine. So one, two, three, four. And so you're gonna single crochet in the, the fifth one. And then you're gonna do that again. So just wrap in the hook, come to the third one and do a front post double. And then get the ones that you skipped. So starting in the first one over here. Remember that counts as the four that it's one, two, three, four and you're gonna single crochet in the next. So you can kinda see how the cabling is working out. Oh shoot. So those two just went in and now we're gonna do these ones but from the back it's a little awkward and just coming from the back just grab it. Just peel it back if you have to. What this does is it makes the cable look like it's mirroring. So you'll do the next one. And then you remember that counts as the, the four. So one, two, three, four and go to the fifth as a single. And so when you peel it back and put it back mm -hmm. you see that it comes up and then over. This one comes up and then under. So you can see that this would be a mirror shape. You're now gonna drop down and get the other two that are here. So this line will stay consistent. And then in this case you're gonna single crochet the first three. So one, two, and three. And let's uh, do this middle section. So to do the middle section you're gonna go in the very first one here and you're gonna do a front post double. And now the next one is going to reach over to this one here. 
So you're gonna skip this one, go to here and it's a front post treble. So you're changing the directions like there. And then the next one is into this one right here. And it's a front post treble. So it's the one you just skipped. And then you were gonna double crochet into a uh, front post double crochet into that one. So lots going on there. So it's changing directions and being really cool. So remember that counts as four stitches. So one, two, three, four. And then you're going to single crochet in the next three. So one, two, and three. So you see that the outside stays consistent but the interior here is doing um, a, a twist. So now this one here straight on down. And then there's a single crochet right after that. If you can recall. Now we're gonna do our crossovers again. So just double crochet skipping to the third one. And it's the first one of the group. So this means that the crossover will be in the front. And then there's a single crochet right after. Okay, we're gonna cross over again. But this crossover will be in the back on the second half of it. I'm not gonna deny that that's as awkward but it looks so good once it's done. And in time because you keep doing the repeat, uh, repeat, uh, repeating of steps it does get easier with practice. So that clears us four, one, two, three, four, and finally there's two on the end. So this is technically the end of the repeat. You can see the cables are gonna work. So we're gonna do rows number um, uh, four through seven once again. So let's start up number four, chain up one and do one single crochet in each and then we'll go through number five again with you. Okay, we're ready to start number five. Let's slowly go through it again. So we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna single crochet in the first two. And like before of dropping straight down, we're gonna drop straight down. So this one's somewhat buried the first two. So just picking it up and do a front post double straight down. Pick up the next two. And then what are you gonna do in between? If you said single crochet, you're right. So you're gonna single crochet in between and then you're gonna cross or come straight down again. So the first two are pretty obvious because they're right in front of you. And then the other two you just gotta pick up from behind. And you can kind of really see it turning out now. And then you're gonna single crochet in the next one. So one, two, three, four. And then the next two are straight down to keep that line moving. It's nice to have these anchor points of regular um, non-changing parts to make sure that you stay on track. So in this case here, number five, we're going to just single crochet the next one. And then we're gonna then come all the way and we're gonna start doing some fun stuff. So the first one that we're about to do, you just gotta watch where everything is crossing over in order to make sense of anything. So you're just gonna grab the first one and you're just going to double crochet and then you're gonna grab the next one and you're just gonna double crochet. So it's a front post double. And those count as those two, one, two. And you were going to single crochet the next three or next four. So one, two, three and four and now you're gonna pick up this one here. It's the first one of the two and do a front post double and then pick up its friend right next door. Just like that. And those count as those two and you're gonna single crochet the next one and then begin the other side. So just drop on straight down and then single crochet the next 
and now you got your cabling that you have here just drop straight down. You just gotta pick it out out of the background. And then do the two that are right in front of you which is part of that same cable knot. Single crochet the next and then do the same. So the first ones are right in front of you. You can see those. And then the second half just pick it out of the background. And then finally you're at the end. So you have two singles in a row. So now you're just gonna turn your work. Number six is just one single crochet in each. I'll see at the end of number six and we'll review seven one more time. So let's review seven one more time. So chain up one and you're gonna do single crochet the first two in a row. And we're now going to cross over once again. So come into the third one and coming across. And it is the first one of the grouping of two of those. So that means that this is in front. So then the next two just grab it from the front. And then single crochet the next one. Okay, so we're gonna do this one crossing over, go to the third one over. And then this one is crossing over in the back. So wrap the hook. Just kind of peel things. Just like that and then that counts as the four, one, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next and then dropping down for the two that are just creating that line. And now in this case number seven so there's gonna be three in a row. So one, two and three and watch what we do. We're gonna grab the first one and you were going to front post double it. And now we're gonna go for the third one here, right here. And you're gonna do a front post treble and that's gonna cause it to, it to do uh, another twist. And now you're going to front post treble the second one I think I was pointing down too far. Look at that one and then you are going to double crochet this one. The front post double. And then that counts as your four. So one, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next one plus two more. So a total of three. So do you see how that one's working out? And now you're just gonna drop down for your next two doubles and then single crochet in the next and then you are going to cross over. And this is the first one of the grouping of twos. So that means that the, it's gonna cross over in the front. And then there's a single crochet in the, between those and then you're gonna cross over again, go to the third, but this time it's on the back side that you're gonna do that crossover. And then once you got that in, the last two are single crochet. And that's what it looks like. So then you'll just go back to four again and you can see the, the knots are twisting. Uh, the center is really quite, quite unique and standoffish. The back of it looks just like this so it's pretty flat and you're gonna keep on going until it states that you need to get how many rows done. So you need to do it until you get um, a total of 32 inches done. So both of the panels will be a total of 32 inches and you're gonna do two of these. This is not hard, it's just a matter of getting used to the stitch work. So let's carry on. 
So once you get your panels done you're gonna wanna whip stitch them together. So we have other videos available on that. So I would use the same color and just whip stitch it and then create your big square. So you'll have this in the, this will be the outside panel, this will be center and there'll be another one on the other side. Again you can change anything that you wish. We're going to begin doing the border next and we're gonna be looking at the right side of the project and we're gonna join the yarn in a corner. In this case I'm just gonna stick to where I was when I finished off and that's where I'm going to begin. So I'm just gonna chain up one and I'm always gonna put three single crochets in the corner. So one and two and three just like that. So what I want to do is that I wanna work single crochets evenly down the side. Because you were doing um, um, single crochets you will find that one row kind of equals a single crochet as you're moving down. If you're starting to see it buckle then just obviously just change the, the distance and then everything should be good. Once you get to the other side in the last corner just um, single crochet three times and then turn one, two and three and then coming up along the bottom edge you should see the stitch work when you're doing there. So it's just one single crochet in each and you're gonna go all the way across your um, total afghan when you go to do that. So do that and then when you get to the corner then put in three single crochets and then just go up the other side and etc. And I'll see you back exactly where you started right here. Once you get all the way back around I just want you to slip stitch it to the first single crochet that you started with. So now it says to turn your work. So chain one and then turn and we're going to do a single crochet in the next single crochet just like that and then we are going to chain one and skip the next one and just single crochet in the next. So chain one, skip one. So the goal at this moment is to make sure that your stitch count is lining up all the way across. So you wanna just manipulate that last stitch on uh, each edge to make sure that it's going to match and if it doesn't then you end up with a little bit of a problem. So I'll see you there in just a moment on your first turn. So I'm coming to my first corner and I'm still chaining one, skipping one. Now if I end up in the wrong stitch that's heading to the corner I'm gonna cheat. That's just the way it's gonna be. So the middle one here is where I wanna end up. So by chaining one, skipping one I end up in the middle. If for example that I would chain, if I got in the last one and I chained one and there wasn't one to skip I would fake it and just go right into the corner. If you wanna skip an extra stitch you can do that as well. On the corners you want to apply three single crochet and then start again. Chain one, skip one and you'll go all the way to the other side. There are always ways to cheat the system if you have, ever have to um, with crochet because really there's no crochet police as far as I know and you're just gonna keep on going until you get to the next corner. So it's really important to establish the right counts on this round. So chaining one and I just happen to end up on the corner. It is a miracle I'm telling you um, but if it wasn't a miracle then I would fake it so it was a miracle and then chaining one, skipping one right out and then continue to go all the way around. So I'll see you at the end of this round. When I come all the way back around I'm just a matter of following the pattern, chain one and then I'm gonna be right in the corner and I am going to apply three single crochet just like there and then I'm going to then slip stitch to the first, sorry just one second, three single crochets and then slip stitch to the first that we have. And then it says that we need to turn so you can chain one and turn and we're gonna go back in the other direction for round number three. So it says that we're gonna do long single crochet and how we're gonna do it is that we're gonna single crochet in each single crochet and long single crochet in the skip stitches. So I've already chained one so each single crochet is going to get a single crochet and in the corner stitches you wanna make sure that you are going to apply your three single crochets right in the corner. So one, two, three and then jumping to the next single crochet. So the long singles are the ones that you just skipped and you're just gonna come down. So you're not going to uh, come there. So you're just gonna go into the um, skipped row one, skipped one and you're gonna just come down and so you're just gonna go in there. So just pull up a little bit of work, single crochet in the next and then coming down into that one. So you just wanna pull up a little bit of slack and you go to do that to get the right height and this creates a little bit of a texture to do that. 
and you're gonna go all the way around. Just make sure you're watching those corners. Uh, you kind of already know what you're doing with that and then I'll see you at the end of this round. So I've just come up all the way back around and I've done a single crochet in each and I did my long single crochets where I had to and then I end up and I slip stitch back to where I started. So doing that there you can kind of see. And now what you're going to do is the last two rounds over uh, uh, two more times. So rounds number one and two uh, twice more and so you'll start off again and you'll turn your work and you'll chain one and single crochet in the first and then um, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next and do that. And remember to honor the corners of three single crochets like you had been before and you end up with a great uh, pattern that looks like this. So because there's so much light blasting at this it's hard to see the texture but it's actually really quite nice and this would be how you do the cable your love blankets. Please enjoy and we hope to see you again real soon. Bye bye.